animals, also known medically as herpes lepalis, are small blisters that usually form on the lips and skin, around the mouth, nose and chin. Cold sores are commonly caused by an infection with the herpes simplex virus, which is also called HSV1. People usually become infected during early childhood or young adulthood, and the infection usually persists for life. Around 90% of adults today have herpes simplex antibodies in their bloodstream, which means they have actually been infected with the virus at some point during their lifetime. However, the first or initial infection usually doesn't cause any major signs and symptoms. Only one third of infected people will actually experience cold sores, which is a reoccurrence of an early infection and doesn't actually indicate a recent infection. The herpes simplex virus spreads between people, usually through contact with saliva or direct contact with a blister. The most infectious time is the first few days of the infection when the blister is still forming. In some cases, the virus can actually be transmitted from one person to another even when the infected individual shows no symptoms at all. This is because the virus can also lay dormant in the skin cells around the lips, mouth and nose region. If you have an active cold sore, it's absolutely important for you to avoid toothbrush sharing, avoid sharing bottles or drinking glasses, avoid sharing cutlery, avoid sharing towels and other personal care items such as shaving blades, Avoiding close contacts such as kissing or hugging any individuals, but especially babies. One should also avoid close contact with children or individuals who are suffering from burns or an eczema infection, as well as close contact with immune suppressed individuals, such as individuals who have TB or HIV. The full course of a cold sore will develop as follows. Most individuals will experience itching or a tingling sensation around their lip region a day or two before the sore will develop. Following that, within a day or two, a collection of blisters will form. These blisters can be accompanied by pain, tenderness, and a sensation of heat and burning. And within three to five days, these blisters will begin to burst and ooze out some liquid. Each blister site will then develop a thick crusting and these crusts will eventually dry up and fall off within 10 days. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.